Hello everyone, this is Teacher Johnson, and today we're creating a composition of Elijah McCoy, the engineer. First I'm going to delete the background from his portrait. I'm going to flip it horizontal, and I'm going to work on adding some generative fill to his sleeve to give it a more natural shape on these edges. I'm going to grab the polygon and lasso tool, increase the small area, right click, now generative fill gives you three options, I don't really like that, I'm going to merge down that layer, I think it turned out very nice. Elijah McCoy invented an oiler that was used on railroad tracks and railroad trains. His oiler was better than everyone else and people would ask by, by name, I want the real McCoy because there was a lot of knockoff brands that wasn't as good. And so here I found an image of his oiler. I'm going to blend that into the background. I'm going with this texture brown background. Then I'm going to take the oiler and select multiply and blend it back in. We're going to add pull quotes, do a clipping mask of his name. And I really want to highlight the great engineer, his signature is on this pattern. I'm going to flip it and move it and as we develop the composition it's going to be moved to the left side, the right side. I'm trying to practice the rules of thirds and have him take up one third. So I found a Canadian steam engine. So I'm going to delete the background. I'm going to copy the layer, blend both of them, lower the opacity wants to take out the trees and I hit multiply the clouds should show through and the blue should have a speck of blue in the background so this multi-layer composition I want to show texture show his oiler highlight his name and his signature okay so I've blended this it's turned out great the edge I need to touch up with the eraser tool. I'm going to position it over. I don't want the train to dominate the image but highlight what he worked on. I want folks when they're viewing this to be able to see that he worked with the railroad and that he created the oiler. This has turned out very nice. I'm using generative fill on part of the background that I deleted on the train. Once I get the background complete, I'm going to duplicate that. But first, I'm going to do generative fill on the clouds. I want that blue going all the way to the top. So I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool again try to create a natural looking edge I'm going to double click the close right click choose generative fill it's going to produce cloud background there's three to choose from we'll merge down we'll copy layer work on the edge just a little bit more. So I've got some blue showing through. I think it turned out great. Now I'm going to write his name, Elijah McCoy. And for the clipping mask, I'm going to find some blueprints of a train. I like that it's engineering drawing. And the blue and the little white should come through. Some people will think it looks like sparkles but I like that the diagram is that of a steam engine.
I'm going to bevel contour, add a drop shadow. So when you're placing a name and items on your canvas, don't be satisfied with the first place you put it. You may hit it perfect, but I want Elijah McCoy's name to stand out. I like the signature. Now I'm going to line the text. Dream the impossible dreams. Dream the impossible because dreams do come true. This is a famous quote. He faced segregation issue. He couldn't achieve advancement in the railroad system due to the color of his skin. And so I like that. When life gave him lemons, he made lemonade. He made the best product on the market. Now I'm really focusing on the text, on the alignment. I look at track and I look at kerning. I like the quote on a different line. So I added it separately. I want the oiler to really show through. I don't want the text to overlap it on the quote. I want both signatures from the patent office and Elijah McCoy's signature to show. So as you're working on alignment, you can pull guides, you can eyeball it, but move it around often and don't be satisfied with the first one and aim for perfection. I want this to print really well and I want it to really highlight Elijah McCoy in a positive way. And so here goes the finished product. Click like and subscribe. I've shown you how to use generative fill, blend several layers. Tell me what you think in the comments. Do something great with Photoshop today. Thank you.